All right, this is my 72-hour kit. The last time I made this video was for YouTube, and it turned out uh, overly long, so I'm going to try to do a better job in this video. Okay, to start off with, I made sure to have water first. Water is the most important item in the kit, really, when you think about it. I do not follow... Well, I should correct myself. I did not follow the rule of one gallon per person per day with this particular 72-hour kit. This is for drinking water only, and that should be sufficient for about three days. And the very next thing I got was a can opener. Kind of an essential piece of equipment there. Okay, here's breakfast. I'm going to eat one can of pineapple, drink one glass of milk, eat one Cliff Bar, and these right here, this is Carrizo Sausage. It keeps for about a year in this package. I figured that would be a good meal plan for breakfast. For lunch, one can of ravioli, one can of baked beans. Give me plenty of calories to make it through to dinner time. And dinner time... These are almost kind of like uh, MREs, so I figure for dinner, rice and tuna, or rice and spam, or whatever combination of meats and rice that I might want. Last but not least, oh, hit my camera, hot sauce. Eating the same thing day after day can be very monotonous, so I always manage to get a jar of hot sauce. Uh, this hot sauce isn't particularly hot. I like it. Most, I guess somebody else might think it's hot, but I actually enjoy hot sauce that's hotter than this. I included this because it is mild and other people won't have that much of a problem using this. And the equipment that goes into the 72-hour bag that I've put together, this radio, it never requires batteries. It's solar-powered here. It has a hand crank on the back to charge it up at nighttime. It is a combination radio and flashlight. It never, ever needs batteries. Same goes for this regular flashlight here. It's powered by hand cranking, never needs batteries. Down here, I've decided to buy handfuls of these itty-bitty AAA flashlights so that uh, I'm trying to make sure everyone in the house can have one. And here are my AAA batteries stored away nicely in these little uh, plastic containers that I found. See how neat and organized they stay in there. And over here I have my candles. This should be enough candles to give uh, decent light for three days. Just one of these candles burns for a long time. Uh, hours, actually. Also, these cheap in-the-jar candles like this, uh, they only cost one dollar at places like the dollar store or Walmart. Also, a small handful of lighters with a rubber band to keep the butane fuel from leaking out. And I made sure to include two first aid kits to go right into the bag. Maybe I can use one and maybe uh, pass one out to someone else who needs one. But I wanted to make sure I had enough uh, small items like band-aids and disinfectant and whatnot. And that is the entire 72-hour bag stretched out on this picnic table. And as you can see, every bit of that fits nicely into this one bag. This is the very beginning for preparations. Um, I consider this, you know, just the, the barest minimum to be prepared with just 72 hours worth of supplies. Of course, I think that people really ought to store more. And that's it for this video, trying to keep it short. This is Lawborn. So long and God bless.